This is Christ Living Spring Apostolic Ministry Club, where the power of God works miracles through the hands of the anointed man of God, Pastor Wale Oladin, the senior pastor, as he ministers salvation, deliverance, and healing. Prayers, they say, is the master key, but you must pray with understanding through the word of God and the reality of your new creation to defeat the enemies of your soul. Your life will not remain the same as you listen to this life-changing message. Thank you and remain blessed. Shall seven testimonial hallelujah unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to look at someone by your right side or your left side. Tell that person, so I am going to shout victory at last in the name of Jesus. If you know you are a royal priesthood, you are a holy nation, you are a peculiar personality. If you know and you know and you know that you have been called out of darkness into his marvelous life, you know Jesus died for you, he shed his blood for you, he rose from the dead because of you, he ascended on high because of you, and he's at the right hand of the he made an open show of the principalities and powers and rulers of darkness he triumphed over them in victory because of you look at someone by your side stand that person victory at last is man in the name of Jesus look at 21 people and tell them victory at last is man in the name of Jesus say 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 say, say. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor I have good news for you this night. So we to allegre muni no hear your full Ladies and gentlemen with smile, holy ghost smile on your face. I have good news for you tonight. So come muni yo hear your full ni asala yi. I tell your neighbor this is the good news. I royal your nani yi on that matter. Glory are running. I will you Amen. Hey, peace. I can go so you shall get to my promised land. My dear lady, me in the name of Jesus. Look yes. at another person. Well, Tell right. that person I have good news for you. On that matter, Lord, that, that, matter that I am passing through, Don't Don't like I, pass I shall get to my promised land. Like in, 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 in the name of Jesus. Look at the third person with Holy Ghost smile on you. Tell that person I have good news. For you, in the name of Jesus, I shall get to my promise. No matter what the devil may say, shout a big hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now look at one of those three people you like so much. Say, I am sending you on an errand. Then tell your neighbor. Go tell them all. Let them hear. Go tell them all. Let them hear. Go tell them, say my own don't better. Go tell them. Go tell them, say my own don't better. Go tell them. Every single one, let it go tell them all. Let them hear. Go tell them all. Let them hear. Go tell them, say my own don't better. Go tell them. Go tell them, say my own don't better. Go tell them. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone who can interpret that song into real Oxford English, I have a prize for you. Because the song says, Hello, so, hello, so, hello, so, hello, so, hello, so, wait a minute, Dara, hello, so, hello, so, wait a minute, Dara, hello, and we sing one lady, hello, so, hello, so, hello, so, and we just sing, hello, so. Hello, so great to meet you, Dara. Hello, so. Hello, so great to meet you, Dara. Hello, so. Amen. Amen. That song is prophetically from Proverbs 25 25. But when we manageably interpreted it, we could get it in Nigerian part one. Go tell them more, let them hear. Go tell them more, let them hear. Go tell them, say my own dumb better. Go tell them. 
Go tell them, say my own don't better good. Are you ready to sing it now? Now face somebody now. Go tell them more oh, let them hear. Yeah. Go tell them more oh, let them hear. Yeah. Go tell them, say my own don't better Go tell them. Go tell them, say my own don't better good. I be seeing one lady. Go tell them more oh, let them hear. Yeah. Go tell them more oh, let them hear. Yeah. Go tell them, say my own don't better Go tell them. I profess unto the life of someone when the devil likes to talk. So, so tell us, you know, I hear Nico. In accordance with the word of the Lord in Proverbs 25 25. As cold water to a testy so, so is good news from a far country. Every one of you, because you have come to this mountain, you shall hear good news. I want to know that, man, you shall hear good news. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord and be seated. God bless you. I want to give thanks unto the Lord for tonight. I want to thank you for all that he has been doing right from the first day of this solution night. Thank you for the first night, the second night, the third night, and the fourth night. I want to bless the name of the Lord for all the great servants of God and handmaidens of God in house. I do call on. I I've seen so many it. general of here. I tell my Lord in God. From Nigeria, Nigeria, all over. Let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord to celebrate them. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Quickly tonight, before I bring our Father and the Lord to the pulpit, we have a quick assignment to do. And the assignment is based on unquestionable you are the Lord. Unquestionable you are the Lord. Unquestionable. Unquestionable, unquestionable, you are. When he decided to make Jephthah the son of the harlot, the head, nobody could question him. Concerning what God is going to do you, do for you tonight, nobody shall be able to query you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, someone who should say a very big amen to this, receive unquestionable testimony. Amen. Can I hear a loud amen? Unquestionable testimony. Amen. Now, tonight, the Lord wants me to tell you some things. And he's saying, whether you like it or not, you yourself, God will answer you. Amen. Oh, Shamina Ada. Amen. I said, God will answer you. Amen. Now, I said, from all you are passing through, those things you are passing through, God is bringing you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. For on that matter that had brought you to this mountain, I want the person concerned to shout the ladder, amen. A mighty testimony shall erupt. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you are that person, be on your feet quickly. We want to take seven confessions. How many confessions? Seven. Seven. How many confessions? Seven. Seven. Now, you will quickly say this. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61 says, Arise and shine. For your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. You will mention your name the loudest. I congratulate those youths that will really mention their names above the names of any other person. And you will say, Wale Onladin. Say it with fire in your throat. Thus says the Lord unto you. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. For your light has come. For your light has come. In the name of Jesus. In the name of and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. In the name of Jesus. Say a big amen. amen. Clap for Jesus. The second one, Obadiah chapter 17. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be what? And there shall be holiness. And the children of Israel shall possess their possession. Now, with a very loud and strong faith-based voice, mention your name and say, What the Lord, you receive deliverance in the name of Jesus? Studio people, are you with us? Put that scripture on the screen, quick. Say, Wally, all lady, you are family. Can you shout it? Receive deliverance. In the name of Jesus. But look at the other one. He said, And the house of Wally, all lady, shall possess their 
possession. Now, raise up your voice. Wali Aladi, you are family. I ask you to shout. Shout it. Say, possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. Now, when you say Wali Aladi, you are family, you say, possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Seven hot times. Are you ready now? Now, one to go. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Make it louder. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Again. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Amen. You didn't follow the instruction. Mention your name and the family once. Then you begin to say, possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? Everybody, rua now. Wale or lady, you are family. Possess, possess your possession possess in the name of the louder. Possess your possession in the name of Make Jesus. it louder. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Say very well. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Psalm 34, verse 19. Psalm 34, verse 19. I see many people coming out of affliction now. Let's read it together. Want to go? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him out of them. Now roar like a lion. Say, Wale Oladi, your family. Come out of afflictions. Come out of affliction. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say big amen. Amen. I love the way you have said it. I want you to say it so that it can penetrate the second and the third heavens. Now roar very well. Wali Oladi, your family. Come out of afflictions. Come out of affliction. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Say the loudest. Amen. Amen. Confession number four. Psalm 118, verse 17. Get ready to dance. Psalm 118, verse 17. Shall we read it together? One to go. You didn't say it very well. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Those of us who will see next year and beyond, can you say it the loudest? Want to go? I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Look at seven people and sing to them quickly now. You will not die, but live to praise the Lord. You will not die, but live to praise the Lord. You will not die, but live to praise the Lord. You will not die, but live to praise the Lord. You will not die, but live to praise the Lord. You will not die, but live to praise the Lord. Oh, you will not die, but live to praise the Lord. You will not die, but live. Say to yourself, I shall not die, but live to praise the Lord. I shall not die, but live. Two more times. I shall not die. Chapter 38, verse 8a. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 8a. After many days of coming for this solution night, tonight you shall be visited. Mention your name like thunder and fire. Wale Oladi, you are family. Hear the word of the Lord. As the Lord lives, and His Spirit lives, I shall be visited with my family members in the name of Jesus. Say big amen. The seventh confession, Psalm 121, verse 1. 1, 2, 1, verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where cometh my help. Hey. Lift up your two hands unto the Lord. Now say after me. Wale or lady? And family. And family. If you don't shout very well, this is what we call a shouting confession. So that heaven can record it. Say, Wale or lady, you are family. Receive the help of God. Receive the help of God. In the name of Jesus. Say, Wale or lady, you are family. Receive the help of God. In the name of Jesus. You have done well. Look at someone by yourself. I want you to dance and sing to that person. 
Tell that person that you are very sure that help is coming to you. Say to that person, my help is coming. My help is coming. My help is coming. My help is coming. No power can stop me. My help is coming. No power can stop me. My help is coming. 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 No power can stop me. My help is coming. No power can stop me. My help is coming. My help is coming. My help is coming. No power can stop me. My help is coming. That help of God that you so desire with every member of your family, with this assuring amen, receive that help from above. The shout of salvation and rejoicing is in the tabernacle of the righteous. That family with the loudest amen. In your home, in your domain, wherever you find yourself with your family members. As from now to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In your domain, it shall be shout of rejoicing. Only in Rua, you are teaching, but allow my God, go, Lord, no, no. Let it see, see, you know, Titi, yes, of you, Jack, but I like, Kaji, Mokba, Dura. Ninu ile re mbi to ba ti bara re ati wa ti dile re iru ayo la ma gbo shout of rejoicing shout of rejoicing shout of rejoicing in the name of God the Father amen. the Son amen. and the Holy Ghost amen put your hands together for the Lord we want to thank God for the love of God for us on this mountain i submit and i profess and i confess before the saints that what we are seeing is exclusively by the grace of the living God. I return all the glory back unto him. It's not because we can pray. It's not because of anything. It's just because of the grace and the mercy of God. I want to thank the Lord for making my path to cross the path of Baba Hashem Alou. Three days ago, my wife was sharing a testimony in our office here. And she said to that person, that your own is good. That when we were in the wilderness experience, it was so bad that we could not go to any church because we couldn't afford money for, to put petrol in our vehicle. For many Sundays, we watched Baba Shimaluwu. We watched Pastor Tunde Bakari. And when I look at Baba Shimaluwu, I see the shape of his hair style. And I look at my own. I said, one day, Lord, you will connect him to him. Lord, you will connect me to him. Lord, the... ah, I like the oh, Lord. I hear his Baba Shimalowo today. Oh, Lord, um, Baba, hey, too. God, uh, organized, God of, uh, uh, the great organizer. When God connected me to Baba, what I will not get into my knowledge bank in 10 years, I'm getting it from him. Every day, when he talks to me, I'm getting wiser and wiser. And that's why, by the grace of God, you know when I see anything wonderful, I bring it. That's why I said, look, come and drink from that place I'm drinking. We want to thank God for the life of Baba Shimalowo. Thank God that you were not aborted in the womb. Thank God that you came at the rightful season. We want to thank God, sir, for your life. We thank God for the life of your wife. Your wonderful children, biological and spiritual children, your grandchildren all over the world. We want to thank you. So many general overseers are here today, sir. They are here. There are many. Ministers of God, whatever you may be, rise up on your feet and shout it loud. Hallelujah! <laughs> sir, many of them are in the other hall. They are all around. General overseers that are doing well. They are your children, sir. They are your children. They have come to celebrate God in you, to celebrate the grace. Because, you see, you are our own Pope. If there's anything like that, Archbishop, Pope, anything, you are our own. And we celebrate you. To God be the glory. I'm excited about you, sir. Excited about chaos all over the world. To God be the glory. We thank God for what God did through you yesterday, sir. We know tonight will be greater. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready with all our hearts. With Holy Ghost joy. Rise up on your feet. 
wherever you may be all over the world. Celebrate. Baba, Matthew, Ashimalowo, Senior Pass of KICC all over the world. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. with all of your strength with all of your might to the king of all kings the lord of lords the alpha and omega the beginning and the end obatowa kaye towa tiowa kenya ye olorun kubuti o se mi eni ba mi kubuti are lo mi apanla to so le aye ro ogbagba to npo te mole Come on, praise him tonight. He deserves all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. He is our God. He is our Father. He is the beginning, the end, the living water, unquenchable, awesome God. He is the battle stopper. He is the God who fights for us. Mighty man of valor. Lift him up this morning. He always was, he always is, and he always will be always doing wonders he's the amen and the hallelujah he's the answer to the prayer he's the intercessor and the interceptor he's the one who stops the enemy give him glory this morning oh i deliver i deliver the word of the lord to somebody here that this place there is a bomb of gilead here and somebody will be healed someone will be delivered i said someone will be set free before i came to minister this morning the lord showed me somebody has so much pressure on their eye and it's so painful i lay hand on you this morning and i command you to receive healing that pain in your eye to leave you from this moment that pressure on your eye to leave you from this moment receive total healing Amen. somebody woke up with neck pain maybe because of the way you slept I lay hand on you today and I say you are leaving this premises with total healing you are leaving this premises with total healing someone has pain in their backbone I lay hand on your back I command your spinal cord your backbone to receive healing Amen receive healing Amen. receive healing Amen. receive healing Amen. there's somebody who was brought to this meeting you've been to hospitals and hospitals say we can't see anything but you are in pain it's a weapon of the enemy it was an arrow of the enemy but today by the mantle of jesus on this platform and by the hand of god upon this ground and because of the anointing when there is a corporate gathering you leave this place totally delivered I declare again, you leave this place totally delivered, totally delivered, totally delivered, totally delivered, totally delivered, totally set free. You will not see that battle anymore. You will not see that issue anymore. Somebody shout the loudest, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord if your name is Florence or Ola Olua or Ojo and if your name I don't know how many people will bear this name but the Lord was saying pray for George I said what do you need George 
If your names are in this category, just stand up. I'm not going to ask you to, to come. Ojo, Florence, Olaolua, Georgiou, wherever you are, it's your day of favor. It is your day of favor. It is your day of favor. I don't know which one of you, they took something from you as if employment or money, but God said there will be a sevenfold restoration. I declare and decree into your life there will be a sevenfold restoration. Everything taken, there will be a restoration. Amen. This will be your season of restoration. Amen. Your season of restoration. Amen. For everything that was taken, God will give you sevenfold. Amen. God will give you sevenfold. Amen. The Bible says a thief, when he is caught, he shall restore sevenfold. I declare decree this morning, sevenfold restoration. Amen. Sevenfold restoration. Amen. Sevenfold restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe, shout the loudest. Amen. Amen. There's somebody here. It has been as if you've just been in a roller coaster of battle all through this year. I came to announce to you, the Lord said to let you know that the siege is over. The siege is over. Amen. The siege is over. Amen. The siege is over. Amen. You are here, it's, it's, been, you've, it's been as if you've been fighting so many people's battle all at once. But this is the meeting of your turnaround. At this solution night, that person is here, the Lord said the siege is over. What is a siege? Is a, a siege is when the enemy is on your right, on your left, in front and behind. It has happened in Jerusalem before. When the Assyrians came and surrounded Jerusalem and nobody could go out. The only deliverance they had was an underground river. I go to Israel two times. I've been to that river. It's incredible. It's, you have to go down to see the river. It's rushing. It is so powerful. That was what delivered them. So they stayed inside town, planted food inside town, and had water from underground, already prepared by God. But the Lord delivered them. The siege was broken. The king of Assyria was killed by his sons. And the Ramshake who was sent, he went and hung himself. Everyone who are behind your siege, ah, they will drown in their own Red Sea. Amen. I said they will drown in their own Red Sea. Amen. They will drown in their own Red Sea. Amen. I'd like you to know the siege is over. Amen. The battle of the left will leave you. The battle of the right will leave you. The one in front will disappear. The one behind you will disappear. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Somebody else is here. God said there has been a cycle of failure. The same cycle. The same cycle. But from today the cycle is broken. I don't know which is but the cycle is broken. You will not have repeat anymore. No more repeat of failure. No more repeat of shame. No more repeat of disturbance. No more repeat of losing. No more repeat of failure. No more repeat of failure. No more repeat of failure. There will be a turnaround. There will be a turnaround. There are business people who are on this ground and some other people, your money was held back. Some of you for months, some of you for years. And it looks like it's not coming. But that the Lord said to pray for you. I declare this morning. Every money owed you. Wherever it is, we begin to call it in. We 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 begin to call it in. We call it in. We call it in. We call it in. Everyone who is holding your money, sitting on your money, they shall become restless. Their sleep is withdrawn. Their peace is withdrawn. Their joy is withdrawn. Everything they owe you shall be paid. It shall be paid with interest. I declare and decree that somebody who is here, before even these days of prayer are over, your testimony will begin. 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 There will be restoration. Everything stolen, everything taken is coming back. It is coming.
coming back. It is coming back. In the name of Jesus. There's somebody here. It's as if they came. I don't know what business you do. They came and shut you down. They have one funny reason. Heaven will fight your fight. Everyone behind that evil action. They will see the finger of God. There will be a restoration of your business. A restoration of what belongs to you. Receive it back. 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 back. In Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. I declare you will testify. I like you to scream I shall testify. Say it like you mean it. I shall testify. Testify. Tell your neighbor you will hear my testimony. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Give God a praise this morning. Give him the praise. Give him praise. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Great joy to be in the presence of God. Must always celebrate our leaders. If you are going to go far in life, God puts you around good people. Because who you see determines who sees you. Who you hear determines who hears you. Some people plant themselves in the wrong place. And they wonder why they are not doing well. But you've got to understand, God planted you in this house because there's quality leadership. I want you to celebrate the senior pastor of this ministry and his dear wife. Apostle Wally Oladio and his wife. Bless God for them. That's not to celebrate a good leader. You really appreciate them. You've got to learn how to celebrate them. Celebrate the grace of God. Celebrate the call of God. Celebrate the hand of God. Celebrate a good ministry that have changed your life. That have brought victory in your life. And I want you to know what we are seeing is a beginning. It shall be a beginning. For God is taking this ministry to a dimension we've never seen. The day will come when we will see this and it will be hundred times this. Amen. Somebody shout a massive amen. amen. It shall come to pass. Amen. You may be seated in the name of Jesus. This evening, I mean this morning before I begin to minister the word. All those who have their 24 hour miracle seat. I want you to stand up. I want to pray for you. All those who have the seed from yesterday night, you have brought it today. I want you to stand up. I want you to stand up. You brought the seed from yesterday night. I want you to stand up because I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you because God is going to give you cycles of 24 hours. Cycles of 24 hours. Amen. Cycles of 24 hours. Amen. Cycles of 24 hours. Amen. The Bible is not a book like our regular education. When they sent you, when we went through school, we went through what is known as linear thinking, just straight. But the Bible is not linear thinking. The Bible is cyclical thinking. As long as earth remains, seed. You know, people receive time and harvest. No, 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 no. Seed, time, harvest, and another seed, and another time, and another harvest, and another seed, and another time, and another harvest, and another seed, and another time. There will be cycles of testimonies. Amen. Everyone who is holding their seed, I want you to lift it up this morning. If you are here this morning, you didn't even bring all of it, but you have some of it. I want you to also stand up with it. I want to pray for you that from this moment, there will be an outbreak of 24-hour miracles, 24-hour testimonies, 24-hour healings. Amen. Anywhere you are in any of the halls, if you brought some of it or all of it, stand up with it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man and woman that in the next 24 hours and in cycles of 24 hours, you will give them uncommon testimony. You will give them uncommon favor. You will open doors for them. I pray for them today that you will connect them to their helpers. You will connect them to their blessing. Connect them to their favor. Connect them to their grace. Connect them to their blessing. Connect them to their favor. Connect them to their grace. The doors you've been knocking will begin to open. That's a word for somebody here. You've been knocking this particular door. But the Lord said the time has come. The door will begin to open. Amen. The door will begin to open. Amen. You will have an awesome testimony. Amen. People will rejoice with you. Amen. So will it be. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us drop the seed right away. Let's drop the seed today. I believe God has something for somebody here. Healing is about to happen. All those who have that seed, come out. Place it on the in the in the basket near you. Come out. Place it in the basket. If you are in one of the halls, make sure you come out. Place it in the basket near you. Namo All of you who are walking to this altar. You walk away from trouble. Amen. You walk away from battles. Amen. You walk away from challenges. Amen. You walk into a new season. Amen. You walk into testimonies. Amen. You walk into glory. Amen. You walk into favor. Amen. You walk into a turnaround. Amen. What was an issue in your life becomes a testimony. Amen. I declare and I decree into your life the seed you sowed today. From today, it will be a small seed in your Amen. life. The harvest will be incredible. Amen. God will open unusual doors. Amen. The pain you've been through, there will be no repeat. Amen. The lady in green, come back. The lady in green. Have your hand. The pain you have been through, there shall be no repeat. Amen. The pain you have been through, there shall be no repeat. Amen. The pain and disappointment you have been through. I declare again there shall be no repeats. Amen. Tonight is the beginning of a turnaround. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Somebody give God praise tonight. Give him praise. Give God a 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 praise. If you have your Bibles with you. Turn to the book of Psalms. Psalm 92 from verse 10. Psalm 92 from verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. From verse 10. But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox or a unicorn. I have been anointed with fresh oil. My eye also has seen my desires on my enemies. My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. You shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Amen. Because you are planted in the house of the Lord, you shall flourish in the courts of God. Amen. You shall still bear fruit in old age. Amen. You shall be fresh and flourishing. Amen. You shall declare that the Lord is upright. Amen. The Lord will be your rock. Amen. There is no unrighteousness in him. Amen. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder Amen. and yokes from your neck Amen. and the yoke will be destroyed. Amen. Because of the anointing oil. Amen. Somebody is here today. As a minister on the anointing. Something is going to turn around from this morning. Amen. Every battle that I've managed to stay on. That have defied prayer. That have defied fasting. It shall not defy the anointing. Amen. Change will follow you from this morning. Amen. Before I start ministering, you've got to know the importance of placing a demand on the anointing. So wherever you are seated today, I want you to place a demand on the anointing on this altar. Whether it's the one on my life or the one on Pastor Ladinho or on the ones that, of the people that are on this altar. You need to get ready wherever you are because when you place a demand on the anointing and your heart is hungry and your heart is focused, there has to be a turnaround. I declare again, this morning will be a morning of change. I said this morning will be a morning of change. Amen. The anointing that makes the difference will make it in your life. Amen. The, she was called the widow of Zarephath. She only had one more bread to make, to eat and die. But she was a woman of prayer because God said to Elijah, for there I have commanded a widow. For her to receive a command, she had to be in prayer. She heard the Lord that a prophet is coming to deliver you. Connect with him. Anything he says to you, do it. And only one more 
dead. This woman connected with the anointing and there was no more hunger in her house. Not only was there no hunger in her house, I want you to know two things. Number one, she's not a Jew. She's not an Israelite. Widow of Zarephath. Zarephath is outside Israel. Jesus even referred to her. He said, were there not many widows in Israel? How come God bypassed them and went outside? Because God is looking for somebody who will place a demand on the anointing. Are you ready this morning? Somebody scream, I'm ready. I'm ready. Say it like you mean it, I'm ready. I'm ready. And when Elijah came, he was to the woman, he went. Incidentally, it's like a city of widows. When Jesus showed up again, Oko Naini. Naini is the new name for Zarephath. It was the same town again that Jesus went and raised the son of another widow. Somebody is here, they've broken your heart, but God will break their power. Amen. They've stolen from you, God will restore. Amen. They've neglected you like you are nobody. Heaven will fight your fight. Amen. I'd like you to shout a massive amen. Amen. Widow number two, she owed so much money. Not her, her husband. He owed so much money and died. They came. They packed everything in her house. Like they do in Nigeria. Lawyers will go to court on behalf of landlord. And they will come and fight your house. Fife means they'll pack your load and use it as payment or they go and sell it. They fife everything in the woman's house and now they want to fife her sons. She said, no, you can take everything but <laughs> you cannot take my sons. And what did she do? She went to the man of God. You need to know where to go when you don't know what to do. You need to know where to go when you don't know what to do. She did not go to the economic consultants. She did not go to those who said they will help you rearrange your debts. She went to a man who carried an anointing to broke the power of indebtedness. You have stepped on these premises. Every indebtedness that came with you. I declare to someone's life, it shall not see December 31. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. And the man of God asked her, what do you have in your house? Initially she said, she said nothing. Ah, God does not work with nothing. I have a problem with one line in a song. I come with something. I'm a carrier of something. I carry grace. I carry favor. I carry blessing. From today, you are a carrier of grace. Amen. In fact, any home you enter is blessed. Amen. You enter a city, it is blessed. Amen. You enter a nation, it is blessed. Amen. From today, the grace you carry will manifest. Amen. Landed in Swaziland one time as the protocol of the king of Swaziland met me by the plane. First thing he said, we have famine in this land. There has been no rain. My spirit got angry. And I said, as the Lord lives, even though I'm leaving tomorrow, before I leave, there shall be rain. Because there's a, that, there are two dimensions of prophecy. You either foretell or foretell. Foretell is to say what you see. Foretell is to speak by the mantle of God a declaration of what shall be. I did not see anything, but I first told. I made an imposition on the atmosphere. Ladies and gentlemen, I was to only do one night meeting in the capital of Swaziland and do morning meeting the following morning and catch my flight. That night, the meeting could not hold until three hours later because the storm of the rain that came shut down the electricity of the city. I carry something. And today I declare that whatever I carry by grace is coming on your life. Amen. It is destroying yokes. Amen. It is setting you free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The anointing will set you free. Amen. Somebody say, I'm free. I'm free. The widow went to the man of God. You must know where to go when you don't know what to do. You must know where to go when you don't know what to do. You must know where to go when you don't know what to do. 
The irony of Africa and the tragedy of a country like Nigeria is that we look at politicians as our messiahs. We do not realize the broom and the umbrella is not our salvation. It's the anointing. It is the anointing. That's why you're here and you will not be put to shame. Amen. Man of God said, what do you have in your house? He said, nothing but. That's the difference. <laughs> nothing but. I came with my own bottle of oil in my pocket. I carry it in my body tonight. I carry it in my body tonight because a residual of grace shall rest on what you carry. A residual of grace shall rest on what you carry. A residual of the presence of God that is in this place shall rest on your life. Let somebody shout a massive amen. amen. You got to know how to place great demand on the anointed. There was a woman in the Bible. Second Kings chapter 7 is an interesting chapter. No, Second Kings chapter 4. Verse 1 to 8. It's it about a woman who had children, no money. Verse 8 downwards is about the woman who had money, no children. One had money, no children. One had children, no money. But they had the same God. We came for different things tonight. But we will all go with a testimony. I said we'll all go with a testimony. We'll all go with a testimony. The woman had never had a child. Her husband was already too old. And she went and built a room inside her own house. She did not just build a room for the man of God. She built his room up above their own room. That is strange. I don't know anybody that, is, that will ever put visitor's room above his own. But she knew what she was doing. Anything above you flows down anointing flows down so she put the room of the man of God above so that anything he carried will flow down from tonight anointing will flow on you Amen. I said grace will flow on you Amen. favor will flow on you Amen. blessing will flow on you Amen. if you believe it say yes, yes. say yes. yes everything that I've resisted you must go Amen. And because of what she did, when Elisha entered the room, ah, he said, call that woman. What do you want? Ah, she said, I'm okay. Then they told him he had no child. He did not foretell. He foretold. He put a demand. About this time next year, about this time next year, she will embrace a testimony. Amen. Amen. Somebody here, that is your story. Amen. I said, that is your story. Amen. I said, that is your story. Amen. That is your testimony. Amen. If you believe it, say, I receive it. it. Shout it loud, I receive it. I Look at your neighbor, tell them, put a demand on the anointing. Put a demand on the anointing. People were following Jesus. The crowd was following him. Until a woman who had, who had been mentally messed up, financially messed up, physically messed up, socially messed up, sexually messed up. Because when you read Issue of Blood, you will Leviticus, you go to what church? She can't enter church, according to the book of Leviticus. In, in the Old Testament, she cannot enter church during menstruation. And this one went on for 12 years. So she can't enter church. Her husband can't come near. She was socially ostracized. The doctors have taken all the money. Then, horrible oh, shot. Then I had Jesus was passing by. Then I decided to give him a try. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It's Jesus in my soul. For I have touched the hem of his, hem of his garment. And his blood has tried all 
I could Seemed like nothing did me any good Then I heard that Jesus was passing by Then I decided I decided To give him a try Oh, it is Jesus Yeah Oh, oh, oh is Jesus in my soul? Hey. Oh, I have touched the end of his and his blood has made me I know his blood. song is great but the songwriter did not capture what happened Psalm 133 how good and great for brethren to dwell together it's like the dew of Haman it's like the oil that rests upon Aaron when like you say that was very anointing and she alone I can't borrow the concolor in one lorry you look alone Baba to you look alone woman to no Lord color on me to no, but in Bible times, mm. they will carry a horn full of oil. They will pour it on the man. And the oil will begin to go down. And go down. Yes, and go down. Yes, yes. Where do you think it will rest? At the hem of his garment. Oh, yes. So when the woman touched the hem Don't of his garment, his she was touching the anointing. And Where the anointing is thicker. Where the anointing is more powerful. Where the anointing is greater. Ah! Ah! Mamitu, all the way I can. Mamitu, all the way I can. Mamitu, all the way I can. All the way I can. All the way I The anointing was resting at the hem of the garment of Jesus. Yes, sir. For he had said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. For he has anointed me. She put a demand on the anointing on Jesus. She didn't touch his chest because it is just a residue. She didn't touch his back. It is just a residue. She went on her knees where the anointing is thicker, where the anointing is greater, where it gathered around the hem. Oh, glory to God. Somebody here, you have been through too much. Heaven has heard your cry. Amen. Change is coming to you. Amen. Turn around is coming. Amen. As you place a demand on the anointing tonight, you will not be put to shame. Amen. The anointing comes because of commitment and pursuing God. From tonight, as you pursue God, your life will change. Amen. Your story will change. Amen. Your testimony will manifest. Amen. Anointing comes to program your life and your family for wonders. Isaiah 8 verse 18. From tonight, I declare into your life, as you have stepped into this place, and you are placing a demand right now, your life to begin to be a wonder. Amen. Your life to begin to be a wonder. Amen. Your children to begin to be a wonder. Amen. Amen. When I say your children becoming wonders, Isaiah 8, 18, it means the next CEOs of companies in Nigeria are coming from this church. Amen. The next members of the Senate are coming from this church. Amen. House of Reps are coming from this church. Amen. Your children will occupy thrones. Amen. Your family will occupy thrones. Amen. The anointing will take you there. Amen. Somebody say, I will get there. I will get there. I like you to say, my children will get there. My children will get there. Tonight, as you have come to this place, Hebrews chapter 4 from verse 12. The anointing will use the word of God and change your situation. Everything that have hindered you, that have stopped you by the word of God and by the anointing of Jesus and move you forward. Amen. Every promise God has made concerning you shall begin to be reality. Amen. 
your eyes will see it. Same thing. Your hands will handle it. Same thing. I said your eyes will see it. Same thing. Your hands will handle it. Same thing. The anointing takes you to a place where nobody can stop you. You have come to this place tonight. John chapter 5 from verse 5 to 7. You have been stuck at the pool of life nobody helping you when angels come others are faster than you from today the anointing will help you amen the anointing will turn it around amen the anointing will help you amen the anointing will turn it around amen the anointing will help you amen the anointing will turn it around amen the anointing will help you amen the anointing will turn it around amen come to this meeting tonight I declare to your life the anointing consecrates it imparts holiness and power a Christian without power <laughs> the enemy will push you around from today you are not for push over you are not for push around she will overcome you will stand tall no weapon against you will prosper arrows of darkness will fail in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 30 verse 29 as you have come to this meeting I lay hand of faith on you I anoint you for power Amen. I anoint you for holiness Amen. I anoint you for victory Amen. I anoint you for glory Amen. I anoint you for testimony Amen. every arrow of darkness directed at you right now they are failing for your sake they are failing for your sake the anointing is also the key to winning in life. I don't know where you are, but by the grace of Jesus on my life, the one whom I have known these 43 years, the one who called me to ministry these 41 years, the one who took me to places I never thought I could reach, who made me, who made me meet people I never thought I could meet, the one who opened nations to me, the one who gave me more than I deserve, the God who makes a winner out of a loser, He's the one I talk of him to you today. I declare you shall win. Over every battle you shall win. Over every situation you shall win. Over every challenge you shall win. They're trying to make a loser out of you and your family, but you shall win. Amen. Hey, hey. The Lord said, for with anointing oil, I have found my servant David. The oil of God will find you. Amen. The oil of God will lift you. Amen. <laughs> His own father hid him. They are now set up seven brothers. General Eliab was number one. Osha Yagbangba. Oga. Fio Fio. Osho Yu Hoi Hoi. Akparebi Ishu. But God rejected him. They went to the second man. His name was something like, like, like Nathan, which means gift of God. God rejected him. Seven brothers were rejected. But the oil was still looking for David. In the Old Testament, they will put the oil in a horn and they will put a wax on it. If they place it on a man, if it's not the one called of God, the wax will not melt. But when you are the one, God himself will melt the wax. So when they placed it on the first seven, wax you melt, you open lacy new. But when the man of God saw that this is another one, don't you have another son? And Mr. Ben Jesse was scratching his head because David was not born by the woman in the house. It was when their father was doing a red parker. That's why David said, In sin did my mother conceive me. I don't know who you are. Your parents may have given back to you in a mess. Your mess will become a message. Amen. Your mess will become a message. Amen. Your ridicule will become a miracle. Amen. I said your ridicule will become a miracle. Amen. I declare your ridicule will become a miracle. Amen. It 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 will become a miracle. He said, with the anointing oil, I have found my servant David. From today, the oil of God will find you. Amen. The oil of God will lift you. Amen. The oil of God will bless you. Amen. The oil of God will change you. Amen. Everything that was tough up to now, it shall begin to be soft. Amen. It shall begin to be easy. Amen. It shall begin to be easy. Amen. I 
Yarorosa. What took your father 10 years? God will give you in 10 days. Amen. I need you to say a massive amen. amen. I need you to say a greater amen. amen. I need you to say a powerful amen. amen. If you say this amen, poverty will leave you. Amen. If you say this amen, sickness will leave you. Amen. If you say this amen, challenges will leave you. Amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. We were so poor in our family that I used to say, if I ever own a thousand, I will never be sad again. I didn't know that uh, the days of millions will come. So today I declare to your life, where you thought you would never reach, the oil of God will take you there. Amen. Where they said you will never enter, the oil of God will take you there. Amen. The people they said you will never meet, the oil of God will take you there. Amen. They are trying to hide you. The oil of God will bring you out. Amen. They are trying to cover your glory. The oil of God will make your glory shine. Amen. Your glory will 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 shine. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. He said, with the oil I have I found my servant David. Then God boasts of David. He said, except my covenant with the sun and moon be removed. That is when I will stop my covenant with David. Every time I go to Jerusalem, everywhere you go, city of David, David's hotel, David's this, star of David, I'm a, not only in Wakakon here. Everything David, this one David, ah! Because God said, only his sons will occupy the throne. There is something about you pursuing God and the oil finding you. There is a breakthrough that lasts forever. Let it rest on your life. 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 Because of the anointing oil. Psalm 92 verse 10 and 11. Every force. Mate telerosi. Every force that have come against you, sickness force, poverty force, family force, national force, every force that have come against you shall bow for your sake. They shall bow for your sake. They shall bow for your sake. They shall bow for your sake. Bow for your sake. Your God will lift you above them. I said, God will lift you above them. Amen. You shall be lifted. Amen. You shall be lifted. Amen. You shall be lifted. Amen. Can I hear a massive amen? amen? Because of the anointing, you become a terror to the devil. Amen. There were many soldiers in the valley of Elah on that day. What shall I get? What shall I be issue? I showed you hoi hoi. But when Goliath came out, ah, one more girl, Tony Tolu or Ton Tolu or Ton Tolu Tolu. When they saw Goliath, they hid their weapon. But a young 17 year old boy showed up. He was carrying what they were not carrying, his head was carrying all. But you see, Namu Tolike de Brozi. That is the danger. You see a man who is anointed. Don't see them after the flesh. See them after the spirit. Goliath saw David after the flesh. He said, is this the thing you sent to me? He did not know that the one who is behind David. Ah, David was an ikekereti and in langbenwe. Oh, any bar for you are now woku deti. Oh, belo. Any for you are now woku. He looked at David. He said, Look at the thing you people send. This 17 year old little handsome boy. Oh, Loba, okay, Loma, Corinne, Kemashi, fine boy, but me, me, eh, Jig Porto, 
But he did not know that David was a carrier of oil. Somebody say, I'm a carrier of the oil of God. I'm a carrier of the grace of God. I'm a carrier of the power of God. From today, every family battle that is trying to humiliate you shall be humiliated for you. Every family challenge that is trying to bow your head shall be made to bow for you. Every arrow of darkness that have risen against you shall be put to shame. It 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 shall be put to shame. Because of the anointing oil, the enemy will bow for you. And anyone who is planning evil right now, because of the oil of God on your life, they will carry it with their own head. I said they will carry it with their own head. Wherever they are planning it, they will carry it with their own head. Anyone who came here, whether you know or didn't know, and there's a family war against you, oh, we delay. And there are arrows of darkness against you, of altar. And there are curses against you, ego, or ego. And there are other things you don't know, evil head, oriburuku, uh, 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 and other things, machelere. From today, the anointing destroys it. The anointing destroys it. It 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 destroys it. In the name of Jesus. Where others are afraid to go. And your blessing is there. You will go and come. Amen. Amen. Where others cannot enter. And your breakthrough is there. You will enter and take it. Amen. Where others are dreading. And your blessing is in the place. No one will chase you out. Amen. young man entered the city of Kenya there's a witch there whom the head of police bowed to the head of army bows to her everybody bows to her she worships a snake in her house the pastor came only could rent an underground place to start to our church he sent a message to mama Ilongo he said please tell mama Ilongo pastor so and so have come to town others have parked for you but you will park for me Amen. pastor set up 24 hour prayer First, her snake died. Mama Ilongo packed her load and ran away overnight. And you need safu one. I want my safu Any place where your blessing is, they will not chase you out. Amen. Where your favor is, they will not chase you out. Amen. She will enter and possess. Amen. She will enter and possess. Amen. She will enter and take over. Amen. Let somebody scream, take over. 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 Acts of Apostles chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about doing good and setting free those who were harassed of the devil for God was with him. From the days this scripture was written to this moment it gives you power to do all things. I have put oil on you right now. She will do great things. Amen. She will do exploits. Amen. She will achieve greatness. Amen. She will achieve favor. Amen. She will achieve testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody scream amen. amen. Say it again amen. amen. Shout it loud amen. amen. The Bible says the anointing destroys the yoke. Isaiah 10, 27, there's a mystery about the anointing. It does strange things that they will look at you and look at your breakthrough. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 
From today, that'll be your testimony. Amen. Your blessing will be bigger than they think. Amen. Mightier than they think. Amen. Greater than they think. Amen. When David stood before King Saul, he said, I will go and meet that Goliath. Your servant has fought a lion before. What will? She will. A lion in his full, stre full stretch is eight feet. Its canine teeth crush his bones. If you are not called of God, don't try it. When the lion came for the sheep and goat, David should have said, Baolo she fell. She can say ni. I be king kilish. I be suya lo fell. She shall a man. But listen, when you carry anointing, you are not going to allow anyone to steal what belongs to you. Your children will not die. Amen. Your wife will not die. Amen. Your husband will not die. Amen. Your blessing will not perish. Amen. Your favor will not be taken away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Then he said, when a beer came, I fought the beer. A beer is seven to eight feet tall and standing. It walks like a human being. One slap of a beer can break a man's neck. He will die in one second. And this 17-year-old, he decided. And God saw his heart. If you can fight for a sheep, you will fight for Israel. That's what God saw. So when he showed up, the king did not know that what they are looking at in the natural is more than what he is. Some of us who are here, we've allowed the enemy to put us down. From today, your greatness will manifest. Amen. Your calling will manifest. Amen. The oil of God will lift you. Amen. Nigeria will hear from you. Amen. Africa will hear from you. Amen. Europe will hear from you. Amen. Asia will hear from you. Amen. America will hear from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I got a call from England. A young man, Mui Larry Waju, is on radio in England. Premier Radio. He said, Pastor Matthew, do you know that there's a report on you by the FBI? He said, I'll forward it to you now. They wrote a dossier on everybody that they think is great on earth. And they said in the world of religion, there are two men to watch because of their presence on television. They said, Matthew Ashimolo, because he's on television, the whole of Europe, the whole of Africa, the whole of Asia, the whole of the Middle East. So whatever he says, the world listens to. Ah, I said, FBI, there's more to you than Miss the I.O. Maybe you don't know. From today, your greatness will manifest. Amen. The oil of God will find you. Amen. The oil of God will lift you. Amen. The oil of God will bless you. Amen. The oil of God will silence the enemy. Amen. The anointing is the key to sweatless victory. Sweatless victory. As Goliath was coming, David takes a stone and begins to swir twirl it and twirl it and twirl it and twirl it and release the stone. Pa! The stone hits Goliath. The Bible says the man fell forward. That is means it wasn't the stone that killed him. I was raised in the army barrack. So the first thing that happens when a bullet hits you is the velocity and thrust of a bullet pushes you back. Goliath didn't fall back. He fell forward. So it was not the stone, it's the finger of God. From tonight, the anointing on your life will bring sweatless victory. Amen. Sweatless favor. Amen. I don't know who it is here. In the area of your business, there will be no more struggle. Amen. In the area of your business, there will be no more struggle. Amen. In the area of your business, there will be no more struggle. Amen. In the area of your business, there will be no more struggle. Amen. God will give you sweatless victory. Amen. Sweatless favor. Amen. Sweatless blessing. Amen. Sweatless testimony. Amen. Sweatless glory. Amen. Sweatless joy. Amen. Sweatless increase. Amen. If you believe it, shout yes. yes. Say yes. yes. Tonight I declare upon you the anointing. The anointing determines the level of your productivity. From today, because of the anointing, you shall be productive. Amen. Your life will be productive. Amen. Well, I need it all, say it easy. 
What some people achieve in 10 years, you will achieve it in one year. Amen. Can I hear a massive amen? amen. Say louder, amen. amen. Anointing makes you to occupy your rightful place. Rightful place. There's a place for Pastor Wale in the plan of God for Nigeria, for Africa, and for the world. There's a place for him. There's a place for clown. They will not push you aside. Amen. They will not push this ministry aside. Amen. They will not push the man of God aside. Amen. You also have a rightful place. Are you in it, Bosa? If you told you, you know, sorry, I said, you know, yeah. If you tell you, you know, yeah. There is a rightful place for you. You will not miss that place. Amen. One woman is trying to sack you from your husband's house, and you are beginning to behave like, well, whatever will be lie. Lie. Mbolo Timbo. Mbolo Timbo, you need that number. We sack such women today. Amen. Anyone who wants to destroy your home, they have no place. The anointing sucks them. The anointing stops them. The anointing silences them. Somebody shout a massive amen. Amen. When we worship and praise in the anointing, deliverance happens. From this day, as they minister in song in this house, May the anointing rest on the house. Amen. As they sing, may demons begin to run. Amen. As they worship, may demons begin to run. Amen. As you worship in your house, as you begin to lift Jesus up, every chain that have held you up must let you go. Amen. Fresh oil will rest on this house. Amen. Will rest on this choir. Amen. Will rest on the musicians. Amen. Will rest on the psalmists. Amen. Those who are recording their own label, every song they wax will go and touch lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's anointed music in this house. Every time I'm, I'm suffering for Jesus in a nice Range Rover in London. I'm listening to Ben Sachs. Is that your name? I'm always listening to a CD, man. That boy blesses me. Every time. BJ Sachs, yes. I'm always just, I'm always just listening. His songs just so minister to me. I hear Arubo Ojo even in his CD. Did he play for you in that? Did he play in that CD? You people sound alike on the sax. Ah, it's amazing, oh. There is an anointed sound in this house. I declare and decree from today as the sound goes out from this house healing will begin to take place deliverance will take place breakthrough will take place joy will be released favor will be released glory will be released if you believe shout a massive amen Stolen Aribu or Joe for December 31 is going to be with us in London. You release him. Thank you, sir. He's going to be with us December 31. We'll put him in the Marriott Hotel so he can suffer for Jesus in the Marriott Hotel. May the oil of God be on your life. I said, May the oil be on your life. When you see an anointed preacher, an anointed song, an anointed church, it is because of the anointing. And when the anointing is an anointed church, burdens are removed, yokes are destroyed. You have stepped on this anointed place. The burden that came with you will be removed from your life. Amen. The yokes, the yokes, the yokes. Yoke is ajaga. Ajaga. In the Bible, they used to put a yoke on the neck of a cow as it's moving. It's digging ground. They are planting, but it's painful for the cow. From today, every yoke, every yoke on your family, on your husband, on your wife, on your children, on your life, the anointing destroys it. Amen. 
We don't want it broken. It shall be destroyed. Amen. We don't want it broken. It shall be destroyed. Amen. 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 When you carry anointing, Mark chapter 16 verse 18, it becomes your immunity. It becomes your divine protection. It is your own body. It is your own fupa. It is your own thing you drink when you are going out. From today, every poison, every bad eye, anyone trying to attack you because of the oil of God on your life, their arrows will go back to them. Their weapons will go back to them. Their lies will go back to them. Somebody shout, yeah! Say yes! Say yes! When the anointing is on your life, Acts of Apostles chapter 5, verse 3 to 10, if anybody is lying to you, God will be exposing it. If they are packaging a lie, imagine so born in lay one, God will be exposing it. Amen. All of you who have business and people are stealing from you, God will expose them. Amen. Anyone who is trying to take what belongs to you and they are lying with one mouth and talking with another, God will expose them. Amen. God will expose them. Amen. While they are planning it, it shall be revealed. Amen. It shall be revealed. Amen. It shall be revealed. Amen. From today, by the anointing, your step will be ordered. Amen. General overseers who are here today, the wrong man you will anoint and that will cause trouble in your ministry, God will show him to you. Amen. I release discerning of spirit upon you. Amen. I release the gift of the spirit upon you. Amen. She will not walk wrong. Amen. She will not live wrong. Amen. She will not miss it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, the gift of God will operate through you. Amen. The grace of God will operate through you. Amen. Acts chapter 13 verse 2. I pray for everyone here, not just for pastors. The ability to discern. The ability of spiritual guidance. Supernatural guidance. Instruction from the Holy Ghost. God himself telling you. But I said there. That kind of clear leading. That kind of clear leading. Shall be your portion. It shall be your portion. Amen. 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 From this day will be your portion. Amen. Somebody shout a massive amen. amen. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4. Everybody in this house, because there's an anointing for wonders in this house. As you take the oil in your hand, as you anoint your fellow staff, miracles will happen. Amen. As you pray for people, miracles will follow you. Amen. Deliverance will follow you. Amen. Healings will follow you. Amen. Wonders will follow you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. From today, Nani Nosi, Ibelanita, Nambraku to Bikali I anoint you. I pour oil on your life. What was called impossible shall become possible. Amen. What was called impossible shall become possible. Amen. They said it cannot be done. You will be the example. Amen. They said it cannot be achieved. You will be the example. And they don't say, Ah! Yes, 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 Every lie Satan told you and said some things are not possible. The blood cancels it this morning. Amen. Now as a young pastor in this Lagos, 33 years ago, my wife was going to walk. She walked that Ribadu Road under President Shagari. Danfo came, hit her, bam. She was pregnant. Carried her to Igbobi. Those days, God help doctors all. Those days, you have to be seeing the doctor privately. My wife's leg was hanging. You can hardly see the doctors. So I had to go and wait at Igobi. 
As a young pastor, I had nothing. You had to catch down for to come there. As this young doctor arrived in his fantastic, beautiful Tia Rubber Honda Prelude and stepped out of the car, the devil said, you see your life? <laughs> oh, Lord, what shall she? You see your life? Egbe emani, wo wa. Mba ko gogo salari e joko rataya. Njo lo mato ra honda prelude, two doors, coupe, tia roba. Toko mbo kwa lele yo. Mati wa biyo na atanda olu mo mi ashima lo shora ye ba. Ora ye re. Suddenly I heard the voice of the Lord. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. And I know who it is. I don't know who it is here tonight. Your time has come. Amen. I said, Your time has come. Amen. By the anointing of God, I announce it to somebody here this morning. Your time has come. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. I'd like you to say, My time has come. 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 On your keyboard, let's look for a song with this word. Matthew, your time has come. Oh, Matthew, your time has come. 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 Oh yes, your time has come. 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 From tonight, you will not go back to yesterday. Amen. Yesterday will not be better than tomorrow. Amen. Your time has come. The Holy Ghost will make it happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who it is here. The day will come in your life. Grace will fool your life. You will raise the dead. Amen. You will heal the sick. Amen. You will pray. It shall come to pass. Amen. The anointing, John 15 verse 7, is what makes prayer to be answered. Anointed prayers will never be neglected. They will never be overlooked. As you have gathered in this place, as you have spoken unto the Lord, your eyes will see testimony. Amen. Your eyes will see your victory. Amen. Your eyes will see glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout a bigger amen. amen. In Luke chapter 4, the Bible says Jesus spoke with authority, power, and weight. In the Amplified Bible, Jesus spoke with authority, power, and weight. If I throw this paper, you did not hear any sound because it has no weight. But when anointing comes on your life, Go back with Jesus' leg, and he carries weight. Demons will have to tremble. Luke chapter 10, verse 19 says they will have to bow to the authority. From today, any demon that strays and enters your house and messes with your business or messes with your job, that messes with your life, they receive the fire of God. They receive the fire of God. They receive the fire of God. Amen. 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 James chapter 4, verse 7. Every demonic entity that's trying to tamper with your children, we resist them. Amen. We resist their power. Amen. We resist their work. Amen. And from today, John 14, 12, I need saying a man Baburozi, Lika Timbruzuria. As you leave this place from today, you will do greater works. Amen. Greater grace. Amen. Greater anointing. Amen. 
greater works, greater grace, greater anointing, greater blessing, greater grace, greater favor, greater works in the name of Jesus. If you believe in somebody, shout a massive amen. Shout a bigger amen. amen. Shout a greater amen. amen. Shout a powerful amen. amen. Wherever you are tonight, I declare to your life, you will walk in uncommon testimony. Amen. You will walk in uncommon grace. Amen. Power will be on your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, you'll be the head and not the tail. Amen. The anointing will never leave your house. Amen. It will always be in your house. Amen. Always be on your life. Amen. You will be a carrier of grace. A carrier of power. Amen. A carrier of anointing. Amen. I declare decree to your life tonight where your fathers could never reach. You are getting there. Amen. Where your mothers could never enter. You will enter. Amen. You will enter. Amen. I say you will enter. Amen. I speak to somebody who's here today the power will change your life Amen. the grace of God will change your life Amen. the anointing will silence the enemy Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. I declare into your life by reason of the anointing you will live long Amen. Exodus 23 verse 26 and verse 30 you will live long Amen. nothing will be barren in your house as the oil of God touches your life, death will see you and run. Nirabosha, iki telerebo, berenisa yene ni telerabosi. In dinamo, those who are watching from abroad, those who are watching online, those who are here today, I declare, if you travel, you will arrive. If you fly, you will get there. If you drive, you will get there. If you travel in a plane, you will get there. In the name of Jesus. Because of the anointing that is upon your life, your life will never be the same. Your story will change. Your testimony will be known. People will hear from you. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 89 verse 21. He said, my anointing shall be upon you with whom my hand shall be established. From today, because of the anointing oil, Receive divine establishment. Amen. Nothing will move you anymore. Amen. Nothing will shake you anymore. Amen. Nothing will move you. Amen. Psalm 89 verse 22. You will have victory over your enemies. Amen. Because of the anointing, you will have victory over your enemies. Amen. I said you will have victory over your enemies. Amen. You will have deliverance from all trouble. Amen. Anybody who came to this place, Nidibozi, Maredesha, Mandi Kitcha, Lirebo. You have court matters, court cases, litigation matters, litigation matters. Somebody sue you or you had to sue them. I release the oil of God on you right now. Amen. Receive your victory. Amen. Receive your victory. Amen. Psalm 89, verse 23. Anyone here whom they are fighting you. They are making you look like you are the one who is wrong. Heaven will vindicate you. Amen. God will vindicate you. Amen. I said God will vindicate you. Amen. I repeat God will vindicate you. Amen. God will have mercy on you. Amen. Somebody shout mercy. 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 Psalm 89 verse 24. Mercy will not leave your house. Amen. Mercy will be in your house. Amen. Mercy will follow you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 89 verse 25 to 27. Because of the anointing oil. Because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. Anyone within the reach of my voice. Including those who will buy the CD and DVD of this program. Prosperity will be in your house. Amen. You will prosper. Amen. And God bless Obedidom and everyone that was in his household. Today, because of the oil of God, let prosperity locate you. Amen. You will not beg for bread. <laughs> I cannot forget the day God broke the backbone of the enemy in lack. 
what, my, what was my father's 30 year salary I earned it in 30 minutes today I pray with that grace on your life and I declare to your life what you never thought you will handle your hands will handle it Amen. the blessing you never thought you would see your eyes will see it Amen. the kind of breakthrough you never thought would locate you it shall find you and connect with you Amen. if you believe it say yes yes because of the anointing all Psalm 89 verse 25 to 27 from today authority will rest upon you Amen. influence will come to you Amen. you shall be a man of influence Amen. you shall be a woman of influence Amen. there are people who have money but they have no influence they have no respect nobody thinks of them but when God puts influence on you Job said, Job 29, he said, when I entered the city, the old men stood still. The women kept quiet. The young men put their hand behind their back. From today, the anointing for influence shall rest upon your life. Amen. I declare on your life, Psalm 89, verse 26, 27. From today, connection with God will be mighty in your life. Amen. You shall be intimate with God. Amen. If anything is going to happen, God will show you. Amen. God will speak to you. Amen. As a man talks to his friend. As a man talks to his friend. As a man talks to his friend. God will speak to you. Amen. Psalm 132 verse 17. From today, by reason of divine oil, receive divine guidance. Amen. Receive divine guidance. Amen. The oil of God will guide you. Amen. You will not miss your way. Amen. You will not take the wrong turn. Amen. You will not connect with the wrong people. Amen. Somebody here, yeah, you will not enter the wrong plane. Amen. You will not enter the wrong car. Amen. You will not enter the wrong train. Amen. You will not travel with the wrong people. Amen. Single girl, single man, single woman who are here, you will not connect with the wrong man. Amen. She will not connect with the wrong woman. Amen. From today, anywhere you enter, the Zinamosha, Ikeleri, one of the characteristics of the anointing is the Aki Romoba. Come on, read down, Saki. When you enter a place and you carry oil, without talking, they will know. Enter the plane one time, flying from Baltimore to Los Angeles. An Arab man was sitting beside me. He said, Who are you? Are you an ambassador? I said in the manner of speaking. He said, no wonder. I said, why did you say so? He said, there is something about you. I said, yes, well, I'm an ambassador of the greatest king. I am his plenipotentiary extraordinary. I said, I have my license as a diplomat. He said, who is this king? I said, he's the king of all kings and the lord of lords. I said, your generations have rejected him, but you need to know about him. Then I told him it is Jesus. He looked at me again. I was flying from South Africa into Lagos one time. And the man, when he saw a few people come to greet me, and as I sat beside him, he said, who are you? He said, first, when you came to sit beside me, I felt more than one person came. And now everyone's coming to greet. Who are you? Well, I said, well, I'm just a... I'm trying to be humble. Sometimes our humility is just not right. Today, I pray for you. May the oil of influence be upon you. Amen. If you enter any office, if they wanted to refuse you, grace will open the door. Amen. Connection will happen for you. Amen. Business will be given to you. Amen. Favor will be shown to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Today I declare Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3 upon you. Thus said the Lord. To Cyrus, whom I have anointed, to open the two lip gates, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. The anointing that brings crooked places to be open, the anointing that brings provision, the anointing that carries greatness shall rest upon you. Amen. Because of the anointing, first Samuel 16, verse 13. From today, the presence of the Lord shall go with you. Amen. The presence of the Lord shall go with you. Amen. The presence of the Lord shall go with you. Amen. The presence of the Lord shall go with you. Amen. Goodness.
goodness will be with you. Amen. Divine safety will follow you. Amen. Psalm 20 verse 6. Because of the anointing, safety will be your portion. Amen. I declare from Samuel chapter 10 verse 1. Because of the anointing oil, you shall be enthroned of God. Amen. You will reign in life. Amen. There are people who are here today, you will reign over finances. Amen. You will reign in the world of politics. Amen. You will reign in government. Amen. You will reign in business. Amen. You will reign in family. Amen. You shall not be behind. Amen. You shall be above only. Amen. And I declare today, anywhere you enter, the yokes that held your fathers must see you and run. And lastly, lastly tonight, for Samuel chapter 16 verse 13, from today, may the oil of God bring distinction to your life. Amen. May the oil of God bring distinction to your life. Amen. Anywhere you go, you shall be distant. Amen. Your family will be distant. Amen. Your children will be distant. Amen. Your business will be distant. Amen. The oil of distinction will be upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. If you believe that you heard from God this morning, I want you to begin to rejoice for your victory. Begin to give God praise for your victory. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. While everyone remains standing, I'm going to do two things and I'll hand over the microphone. You're here today. You need to know. No Jesus, no life. No Jesus, no hope. No Jesus, no direction. No Jesus, no meaning to life. I used to be a Muslim. My name was Ahmed. My father's name was Salau. My mother, Aishat. My sister, Adijat. My brother, Muda Shiru. My grandfather, my mother's side, was a Muslim. My uncle was Rabi, my sister Muniratu. But look what Jesus has done. If you're here today, I do not invite you to religion. Religion binds, religion limits. I invite you to Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but by Him. I have a problem with what is going on in Nigeria. Where churches will say, Kaka sa Jojo man that ra. Allah no kana la John say not me and you. I'm only serving Christ. He's the only way. Today I don't want you wherever you are to miss Christ. If you are saying Pastor Matthew, I want to receive Christ. I was even born in church, but I cannot say if I die today I'm going to heaven. You see, no Jesus, no life. If you say, Pastor, pray for me. I want Jesus to come into my heart. I want you to raise your right hand wherever you are. Don't be ashamed. I remember the day I gave my life to Christ. I was 20 years old. I was drunk on the day. I was drunk. A Muslim and also drunk. So if you are here and you are saying, Pastor Matthew, pray for me. I want you to raise your right hand quickly wherever you are. If you are outside, don't miss this opportunity. Wherever you are, I want you to raise your right hand. Wherever you are, you are saying, pray for me, Pastor Matthew. I need Jesus in my heart. Raise your right hand. All those who have raised their hand, if you are in the main hall, I want you to come to the front. If you are outside, I want you to go in front of the... In front, I want you to go in front. Anywhere you are, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. I want you to pray for you. Adult, children, wherever you are, I want you to come right now. I don't want you to miss this opportunity. They're saying, Pastor Matthew, please pray for me. I want you to come. I want you to come. I want them to hear the message first. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Wani bati Christian kweo. Wamari no e shemo. Shemo. Watu go go to deo. Wabere rejetor. On kweo. Nisi 
Icharudo, ezi udo, udo di ebube. Kweka Jesus patano biki. Eshe baba. Icharudo, ezi udo, udo di ebube. Kweka Jesus patano biki. Megi koge bubo, avale burugi ehi. Megi koge bubo. Avale burugi ehi eh, megi kage bubo. Avale burugi ehi eh, kweka Jesus pata no bi. Eru eshere ba wolonu, we Jesus wano kare, bunda niya isi bi okare. We Jesus want to walk on Lay ye be jire son. Ba olu wa re la ja. She walk on red by your friend. Let Jesus walk on Blessed assurance. Jesus is the man. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Yes, our salvation, what is our blood? Born of the Spirit. Born of the Spirit. Washed in His blood. Washed in His blood. This is my story. This is my song. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day. This is my story. This is my song. This is my story. This is my song. you are tonight if you know you are supposed to be in front you need to come this is the most important step anyone can take in life receiving Christ as your Lord and Savior no Jesus no life no Jesus no hope no Jesus no direction no Jesus no meaning to life I can never forget the day I was drunk and my friend had written for some tracts and I read the tract and received Christ Wherever you are tonight and you're saying, Pastor Matt, you pray for me. I have no assurance that if I die tonight, I'm going to heaven. You need to come. As I lead these people in prayer, you need to come. You need to come. You need to come. You need to come. Everybody who's in front, you're going to say this prayer after me. More people are coming. Come. Come. I want you to say this prayer after me. And I want everybody in the church to say the prayer, not just the people in front. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for my sin. And I ask you to forgive me now. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Come into my heart. Come and live in my heart. Help me to live my life for you. Thank you for receiving me. Thank you for forgiving me. I receive you today as my Lord and Master. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lay hand on your chest as I pray for you. Father, I pray for this men and women and the young ones in their midst that they will be true to the decision that they have made today. Help them to serve you with all their heart. Help them never to go back anymore. But to keep their eyes on you, Jesus. Give them victory in every area of their life. Silence the voice of darkness. Shut the mouth of the enemy. Total victory from today. Bless their lives. Receive all the glory. Let today be the beginning of a new beginning. Wash them with your blood. 
Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Look at me, look at me. You don't have to feel good before you realize your name now has been written in the book of life in heaven. Angels are celebrating because you are a child of God. Now I want you to be serious with your decision. This is a good place to worship. The counselors will take you out for just a few minutes and you'll come back to join us. Please follow that man. Give them a big hand as they go. Give, follow that man. Give them a big hand. Oh precious is the flow that makes me quite a show. No. God, praise for all these people who gave their life this morning. Magnify the Lord for them. Bless the Lord for them. Hallelujah. Everyone be seated before I hand over the microphone. I'm going to pray one more time. But before I do so, I want to challenge people to sow seed. I have found that is the access way to the quickest breakthrough. When God wants to lift you up, he asks you to sow seed. Every time I go to Jerusalem, pastor, one of the things that really touches my heart Please sit down, sit down, sit down. One of the things that touches my heart is the land that David bought for the temple. It is the father of all real estates. Because anywhere you are in Jerusalem, the place is lifted up. If you are not given it to the Lord, it is better than the best than the best. In London, it will be better than Oxford Street, than Bond Street, than Piccadilly. In Nigeria, it will be better than Banana and Nikoi. The place he gave to the Lord was so central. And because he gave it to the Lord, when it was time to give offering, if you go back and calculate, David gave about $2 billion of gold. While all his 300 captains together gave $1.2 billion of gold. One man who started, 17-year-old who followed after God. God so prospered his hand. Somebody's about to be lifted this morning. I want to challenge you to sow a seed that breaks the backbone of poverty and takes you into realms like you have never been before. I want you to realize based on our prayer yesterday that it is when there is a challenge in a nation that God is about to lift some people. And I am among those he's about to lift. I said I'm among those he's about to lift. First seed I challenge you to sow today is not a small seed, it's a great seed. I'll give you three or four testimonies and I'll pray. I was in, I was in Benin airport to come back to Lagos. The flight was delayed by three to four hours. I, mean, I don't complain, no. I have about 400 books in my iPad, the note inside. So I began to dictate a whole book inside my dictaphones. That's how I write my books. I've written 98. I began to dictate the book. While I was doing that, a young man came to me and said, Sir, I worship at so-and-so church in Abuja. And my pastor is about to build a 70,000 seater church. He said, and I stood up and said, I want to give the, all the 70,000 chairs. 70,000 chairs, not plastic. Imported chairs. He said, after he made the commitment, he began to research online where he will find where he can buy the chairs so he can go to their factory and negotiate. Found one in the Philippines, bought his ticket, Emirates, decided to fly to Philippines. Business class, when they got to Dubai to change flight, they downgraded him to economy. The Holy Spirit said, Majao, Majao, if you talk about the Lord Jokumbe, where you are going is important. They put him in economy, he bought business class ticket. But as he sat in economy before the plane would take off, they came to call him and said somebody did not come and they moved him to business class when they moved him as he sat a Filipino sat sitting beside him 
said, what are you going to my country to do? He said, my church is about to build a 70,000 seater church. And I made a pledge to buy all the chairs. The man looked at him and said, I've never met anyone like you before. He said, which company are you going to? He brought out the name of the company. And the man beside him said, I am the CEO. And he said, because of this step you have taken, you are going to buy the chair for only 10% of the value. Then the man also said, and because of this step you have taken, you are going to be our West African distributor. When God is ready to prosper you, it's not going to be by power, nor by might. Somebody's going to break the backbone of poverty. You are going to walk in the realm of financial breakthrough like you have never seen. If you believe, shout a massive amen. Shout a greater amen. I think I've shared the testimony here. 12 years ago, I went to preach in Zambia. I asked people to sow seeds, and they sowed. I left. I did not go back to preach for my friend, Joe Imakando, in Lusaka, until last year, 11 years later. As I got there, they said they've organized for me to speak to businessmen, CEOs of banks, etc. And before I would speak this Friday morning, they said the young man will give testimony. The young man stood up and said, when Pastor Matthew came 11 years ago, I was going through the worst valley of darkness. He was a man who started the road to change with $200,000. All the money disappeared. Business packed up. In the middle of it, the owners of the money were looking for him and the bank of, of Zambia was looking for him. He sold everything. He could not pay his debt. The last thing he sold was his car. When he sold the car, he took the money. He wanted to buy tickets so that he and his wife can run away to England and go and be doing taxi driver. He said that was his plan. But then I came to town and said, sow the seed. He said he took the money and lifted it before God and said, God, this is my escape money, yo. This is my escape money. And Pastor Matthew said I should sow it. It means I cannot escape anymore. And he placed it on the altar. Less than two weeks later, somebody rang him and said, let's have lunch. When he met with the person, the person said, what are you doing? He said, didn't you hear my story? I've lost everything. That one gave him another $200,000. He started the bureau de change again. Before you know, he opened the second branch and the third branch and the fourth branch, and the fifth branch. Opposite the general post office in Lusaka, he bought a five-floor building. Then he bought a four-floor building. Then he bought more buildings. I did not know. This man gave his testimony. He said from that day, he realized that he had a connection with the grace of God on my life when it came to seed sowing. This man would fly from Zambia to London to come and sow seed. Ten and a half hours flight. Ah. You fly from Zambia to London to come and sow seed. Ten and a half hours. Then a white man who went from England and bought land in Zambia and started a farm. His farm is bigger than from here to Ikoi. It's 30 miles in every direction. 17,000 acres. The man wanted to sell the farm and the radio station, Christian radio station. The man wanted to sell it $10 million. Our friend jumped on the plane again and ran to KICC. We had no conference. We had no major event. It was just a Sunday service. As soon as I said, let us give our offering, he quickly packaged his offering. He put it on and ran back to Zambia. The land... The radio station they want to sell for ten million dollars. Our friend bought it for one million dollar. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Rejoice in someone else's testimony. Listen, I'm going to ask for two seed today. The first one is a stretching seed for some people, but it's going to break the backbone of lack. And you've got to learn the power of sacrifice. A church not far from here. I went there one time and spoke. And told people to sow the seed of a thousand times more 
A young lady had just been laid off by the bank. She put the seed on the altar. A couple of months later, she got a business with profit of 12 million US dollars. Another young man in the same church, this is the story their pastor told me. Another young man in the church who put the seed on the altar, they found oil on his land. Oh, somebody praise the Lord. Three months ago, I was preaching for Pastor Ayuade Shola. You remember him? Redeem VI. Oh, we preached together that time. So I did the past, I did the leadership conference in the morning. And the man walked up to me. He's the executive director of one of the banks in town. He said, You don't know me, sir. He said, but I used to live in Canada. You came to Redeem Christian Church of God. Uh, I can't remember the branch now, the name, but it's in Toronto. He said, you asked us to sow the seed of $1,000. He said, that's all I had. I sowed the seed. After I sowed it, the bank came to look for me in Canada to come and be an executive director in Nigeria. And when you're in Washington, Nigeria, Canada, the seed you sowed can change your story. I can go on and on because I have seen the hand of God. I've seen God move in ways that are so strange. So the first seed tonight is a seed that will break the backbone of the devil. The second seed is a very tiny seed because everybody must take a step. And this tiny seed, you must sow it for yourself and your wife, your son, your daughter. In the book of Genesis, I believe chapter 33, chapter 32, after Isaac had dug many wells, when he dug well number five and they did not take it, he called it Rehoboth. God has made room for us. But many years later, his servant found an underground river and he called the place Bath Sheba. Sheba is from the Hebrew Shebeth, Shabbat, Shabbat, from which we get seven. This morning, I want to challenge you to sow a seed of perfected breakthrough. Your Bathsheba, you are going to find it. The underground river that is running that cannot run dry. Somebody is going to find it. The first, first seed is $1,000. The second seed is $70. Perfected breakthrough. $70. Perfected breakthrough. Second seed is a big one, $1,000. It breaks the backbone of poverty and lack. And from this day, you will never go back to where your fathers used to be. God will give you 10 times more than your fathers. 100 times more than your fathers. 1,000 times more than your fathers. What your parents could never even think of in a lifetime, you will do it in one week. I want you to scream amen. amen. God told me from this day, you are 1,000 times more than your fathers. And then he began to manifest it. In the town where my father comes from, my father never owned a plot of land. And his brothers used to mock him. Then I went back to that town and bought for KRCC University. Not the, not the church buying it. Myself and my wife bought almost 400 acres for KRCC University. And then I bought 42 acres opposite the university where I shall build my whole my country home one day. Just me and my wife on 42 acres. No human being apart from us. Then I'll surround myself with animals and beds. I'm done with human beings. Although the board of trustee of the university, they are eyeing my land again, that 42 acre. I'm uh -uh, laying you 400. This morning, I want you to know what we share here is our testimony that came out of the grace of God. That came out of the power of seed sowing. I believe in seed sowing. Pastor Wale has graced my widow's occasion every year. January will be the 10th one. We're giving 4,000 widows. Six, six yards of Ankara and lace. We used to be Ankara, now we've added lace. We've stepped them up. We used to give them five, five hundred. We've stepped them up to one, one thousand. So we give them clothes. We give them cash. We feed them. I want to change it again this year. We're thinking of giving them about two to four, four kilograms of raw rice to carry home. That's a lot of money. 
It costs me something like 25 million naira every January. And then every year I give away cars. I've just given away about 25 cars in the past three years. The latest one is my yellow Hummer. It's now in Zaria. Just giving it away to a bishop in Zaria. I told him, ah, some people are coming to me with you on Sunday service. I'm sending a gift. He will not work in the lock by day one. I said, no, no, don't worry. They'll show up. They, they're just bringing a small gift. They showed up with the Hummer. When I called him, I said, Bishop, have you seen your Hummer? Ah, he said, I'm now the king of Zaria. I'm about to pray. Listen, I don't believe in just saying these things if I don't do them. I believe in seed sowing. It is what has changed my life. In a couple of weeks on, KRC, on Winning Ways, on channels, you will see on KRCC TV, we'll be advertising our university. And they will say, Matthew has a low scholarship scheme. Any student who apply, anybody who has passed jam, who applies, I'm paying for 40 students. 40. All their school fee and accommodation each student worth over half a million naira. I'm paying for 40 students. KRCC will pay their own. There's a scholarship also coming from KRCC. About 85 from our church, 40 from me. So if you have passed jam, you don't have school yet. That's good news for you. Just watch out on TV. This morning, those who are sowing the seed of a thousand dollars, I want you to stand up and come to the front to the worst towards your right, all those who are sowing the seed of a thousand dollars. Don't wait for anyone. Just come. Just break the backbone of the enemy and come towards the right. To somebody today, that sounds like a thousand dollars. The Naira, the Naira, you just change it. A thousand dollars times 250. Don't be doing a kini malam rate, kini bank rate. Let's just put it 250. Come out. Come out towards the right. Come out. I'm going to pray for you. If you are outside, if you are direct close to the gate, if you are in one of the halls, I want you to go to the front. Don't miss the anointing. If you are coming, you need to move fast because I'm about to call the second seed. That second seed, I know a lot of people will respond to that, so we want to make room for them. All those who are sowing this one, I want you to come forward. Come close, come close, come quick. Don't miss this chance. Don't miss the opportunity. Don't miss it. You will not sow for trouble. You will not sow for battles. You will not sow for challenges. You will not sow and stay in issues. But rather you are coming out of battles. You are coming into a new season. You are coming into uncommon testimony. I don't want you to negotiate what the Holy Spirit is telling you. I want you to get out of your seat and come out concerning this one. Some of you are out there. You are saying, Pastor Matthew, I want to do this. I want to do this. I'll give you up to December 31. That is like five weeks. or No, that's seven weeks. Get up and come. I'll give you up to seven weeks. Break the backbone of the enemy. Sometimes it may mean this is a whole month's salary. That's fine. For somebody else, it may even mean this is two months' salary. That's fine. When you hear me share my testimony, I don't give out of ease. I give out of sacrifice. I want you to get out of your seat. I'm about to pray for you. God is about to do something in your life. You heard me tell the story when the man drove his Honda Prelude and I thought life was over. Now in three years, I've given away 25 cars. God is going to make you greater than you ever imagined. Mightier than you ever thought. Those who are sowing this seed, if you are in one of the halls, I want you to honor the Lord. Go to the front. There are ministers there. If you are watching online, Ireland, the United Kingdom, various places. Hi to all of you who live in the UK. Wherever you are and you are watching, I want you to take your pen, take the details, give online. This is a good ministry to sow into. This is a good, good ground to sow into. The seed of a thousand times more. A thousand times more than your father's, more than your mother's. A thousand times breakthrough. 
a thousand times testimony, a thousand times favor, a thousand times glory, a thousand times turnaround, a thousand times change. I am believing with somebody who is at this altar today, your story is about to change. Your glory is about to manifest. The hand of the Lord is coming on your life. The grace of God is going to be great in your life. God is going to do something so awesome. If you're out there, you heard me. I increased the time. I said I give you up to December 31. Although you must not always postpone a seed. You must learn to respond as soon as possible. I want you to get out of your seat and come quickly. I'm about to pray for people today. Come quickly. I'm about to pray. I'm about to pray. I'm about to pray. Come quickly. If you are seated out there, listen. When you, when you, heard of, when you hear of a seed like this, don't sit down to do it. The only seed the Bible says to hide is when we're giving alms to the poor. But when we're sowing seed to the Lord, we're not supposed to hide it. All of you who are in front, raise your card up. I want you to begin to prophesy into your own life. If you are coming, you need to come quickly. Raise it up and begin to prophesy. Come on, begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy. Namarosha, Deliraba, Andre, Sembro, Jean Delire, Libro, Cuskedarita, Lideri, Ramos, Tayan, Derin, De Rose, Telirabos, Anderebo, Shayelerebos. Jesus, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name. Look at me. I want you to wrap your faith around my prayer. I want you to believe God for nothing small but something big. Major open doors. Major open doors. God to push back limitation for you. God to bring you into awesome greatness. Awesome favors. Awesome testimonies. And when I finish praying with you this morning, I want you to, if you don't have everything here, I want you to take part of it and so today. If you have all of it here, if you have your check here, you saw all of it today. The equivalent in Naira is 250,000 Naira. Lift your card up. Father, you brought me from very far to minister to this men and women. I declare and decree to their life today on common testimony, on common favor, on common turnaround, on common change. Every limitation around them is broken. I speak increase. I speak favor. I speak blessing. I speak testimony. I shut the mouth of the enemy. I declare increase. I declare glory. I declare favor. Change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. From today, God will prosper your hands. The dreams, the aspirations of your heart will become reality. The aspirations of your heart will become reality. The aspirations of your heart will become reality. The oil of God will lift you up. And you'll never be the same. Never, never, never. You'll never be the same. Never, never, never. You'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Now you have a good shout of amen. You can place the card on the altar. And if you have some of it here, I want you to bring, go get it, place it on the altar. You have your checkbook, write the check, bring it. I want you to do so this morning. I want you to do so this morning. I want you to do so this morning. It's a new season. It's a new day in your life. You're walking away from challenges. You're walking away from trouble. You're walking away from battles. You're walking into a new season, into a new testimony. You're walking into change, promotion, open doors, favor. You're walking into grace locating you. The oil of God distinguishing you. God causing your business to explode in your hand, to expand in your life, to become awesome in your life in the name of Jesus. The second seed I call for is the seed of perfected breakthrough. $70. One is the number of beginning. Two is the number of witness. Three is the number of God. Four is the number of balance. Five is the number of grace. Six is the number of man. Seven is perfection. Seventy is multiplied perfection. 
70 dollars you may have sown the first one and you want to sow the second one everybody everywhere nobody who should be exempted from this seed the seed of 70 dollars wherever you are get out of your seats wherever you are you need to participate in this you need to stretch your faith you need to break the power of the enemy and sow seed come on get out of your seat i'm about to pray for people all those who are outside in the various corners various locations up get up get up come wherever you are get up and come get up and come get up and come wherever you are come 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 quick if you are very far away just go to the front of the screen there are ministers waiting to minister to you all of you who are seated in the seats not far from the main sanctuary you can come in here those of you who are in here the seed of seventy dollars perfected breakthrough perfected breakthrough God is about to bring you into your own Beersheba your own Beersheba the well of seventy the well of perfected breakthrough Beersheba a well that will flow beyond your imagination some of you are seated and you are saying nah, I don't have it here get up you said I will bring it yes get up and come you know that you will bring it get up and come quickly if you are coming come quick I want to hand over the microphone the next couple of minutes after I've prayed for everyone get up get up and come 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 something is about to happen in your life seventy dollars means seventeen thousand five hundred naira seventeen thousand five hundred naira it can never pay for anything in your life so this is a seed you sow it can never take care of most of the things in your life so this is a seed you sow I want you to get up and come I'm about to pray if you are coming you come now come quick come quickly something is about to happen in your life come 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 you are saying pastor matthew this is my church i don't have it here but i'll bring it yes get up and come i'm about to start praying if you are coming get out get out get out get out this seed is different from the one we did yesterday we are sitting in the upper levels wherever you are never allow yourself to be cut off from the opportunity to break for it to break through come out thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I want you to begin to pray for perfected breakthrough something to change in your life perfected breakthrough something to turn around in your life perfected breakthrough and the Rosha and the perfected breakthrough change is coming and it won't be long. Change is coming. And it won't be long. Change is coming. Change is coming. And it won't be long. Hold on, my brother. Hold on, my sister. sister everyone who's at the altar lift your hands up look at me perfected breakthrough means something God have already completely divinely arranged every time a seed like this does not stretch me I sow for my boys I sow for my wife now the boys have gone from boys to men now married and I now have a grandson and my wife also the unusual doors in fact we have not seen each other in the past two and a half weeks 
Because I landed in London, she's in Paris. When I left London, she was in, I think, Canada. When I came, <laughs> so when I left London to come here, she landed also in London, but she's on a different terminal. And the fog did not let us see each other. Our flight was delayed. I said, okay, we'll see. We'll see this Saturday when I get home. Bamba Dili. Bamba Dili. Ibanu Jayodo Queen Bamba Dili. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lord, let the oil of heaven rain upon this man. Let it rain on this woman. Let it fall on this people. Let the hand of the enemy be broken. Let victory be wrought. Let everything that have been against them begin to work for them. Let the battles they have been through let it turn to testimony. Let it change from today. Every brokenness of the heart will become the testimony of your life. Every story of abandonment and hurt will become the source of joy. It looks impossible, but God will turn it around. God will turn it around. You've been through so much, but a season of change has come. God will give you perfected breakthrough, perfected favor, perfected testimony as this seed leaves your hand increase comes to you Amen. testimonies come to you Amen. favors come to you Amen. I declare and decree unusual doors begin to open for you people who don't know you will serve you Amen. people who don't know you will bless you they will connect with you Every shame the enemy planned for you will become a stepping stone to greatness. Amen. I declare and decree upon your life today, unuse your testimony. Amen. Unuse your victory. Amen. Your children will be for signs and wonders. Your family for signs and wonders. I pray for everybody who is here today, you are going to laugh. Financial fortune will break forth upon your house. Psalm 66 verse 12 There is a wealthy place in God You are coming into it I declare you will live there You will be resident there You will not visit the wealthy place You will live there Malachi 3.10 The floodgates of heaven Will open for you The King James calls it Windows of heaven The original Hebrew says floodgates Of heaven a floodgate is a gate you use to lock away the sea from invading a city. We have it in London. It's built to stop the sea from coming to East London. But it can be opened. From today, we open the floodgates. May your life be flooded with favor. Flooded with testimony. Flooded with glory. Flooded with abundance. Flooded with joy. Whatever has been an issue will become your testimony. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 9. They shall not ask, where is your God? They shall not ask, where is your God? For when they say so, they will see your God at work. I declare to your life today that you will receive surprising breakthrough. Everyone who has come to this meeting, wherever you are, stand up. You will receive surprising turnaround, surprising financial fortune, surprising favor. Mark chapter 4, verse 41. And they say, What manner of man is this? From this day, the breakthrough that will show in your life, people will say, What manner of man is this? What manner of woman is this? In the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 5, verse 26. And they said, we have seen strange things today. I lay hand on you. Wherever you are, receive strange favors. Strange miracles. Strange testimonies. 
uncommon turnarounds even people who don't know you will help you anyone who have raised his hand to fight you they will be beating themselves they'll be beating themselves mark chapter 2 verse 12 they said we have never seen anything like this before from this day that will be your story the kind of miracle your family have never seen from this day it will be your portion you will testify you will testify anyone who have come to this altar womb in this past month the enemy fought your business I declare the battle is over the battle is over the battle is over the testimony will come when they are saying in Nigeria things are hard you will be saying things are easy when they say the times are tough you will say this is the best season people you don't even know will help you you will sing a new song the oil you brought here anything it touches healing will follow miracles will follow as you have come to the altar to sow seed your hands will never lack perfected breakthrough will follow you so will it be get ready to laugh people who hear your testimony will laugh with you people who see you will rejoice with you even those who don't like you will come to church for thanksgiving with you so shall it be Jesus name Amen. lift your water and your oil your prayer request unto the Lord what I'm hearing is that we should shout seven loud hallelujah and then we shout the grace now lift them up now shout seven loud hallelujah to the Lord make it louder Go in peace under the grace of the Almighty God. In Jesus' name. Shout victory at last. Love you with the love of God. Thank you. You have just listened to this message from the senior pastor of Christ Living Spain Apostolic Ministry, CLAM, Pastor Wale Oladiyo. To order a copy of our video and audio messages, please call 01-794-9712, 0807-658-1733 or visit CLAM Bookshop at Plot 126 Clam Avenue on Mole Ikeja. You can also visit our website at www.clamgo.org or join Pastor Wale Oladiu for the live streaming of our services on www.clamgo.tv. For counseling and prayers, please call 0802 121 4355, 0803 826 6330 and 0805-564-2735. Join us for our Wednesday Revival Hour from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Wednesday and Sunday Glorious Service from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. As you come, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Settled.